Hey guys, today I'm just showing you what I've been doing for the last three months on my college project. I've been doing a post-apocalyptic environment and yeah, so this is what I've been doing. I'm going to show you the layout, each of the different areas of what I've been working on and I hope you like it. So I had three options, fantasy, sci-fi, post-apocalyptic. I chose post-apocalyptic as you can see. It's not exactly how I envisioned it, but it's it's a good level. Uh, if I were to improve on it, I would add a few more decals to make it look a bit more dirty in some places. Because there's there's some areas, like the floors and stuff, or the ceilings in some places, which just seem a bit too clean, in my opinion. And I'm sure some of you will agree. So I would add some decals in, uh, put them around... To make it look more dirty, dusty, mossy, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so I put it all around. Decals are basically, for those who don't know, they're 2D textures which you can put all around your walls. They're easy to make in Photoshop. Like you make uh, a black and white version as well. So you take out uh, the background of it. And uh, yeah, they're easy to make. They're not too tricky. They're not the hardest thing in game design. But yeah, you can put some decals around, make it mossy, dirtier, and yeah, so there, there is a few things I would have liked to improve, but I didn't quite get to it. But I will hopefully do that and work on my skills at home and continue to develop them and make this game environment better, even though uh, this project is now done. Um, so yeah. Let me, okay, so now let me take you to the specific areas of uh, my place step by step to show you uh, what is what. Okay, so the first thing is the dining area. Now, the dining area is in a state of mess. I tried to make my environment to make it look like people were once there. So, my dining area, it's got chairs knocked over it's got cutlery messed around the candles are a bit knocked a little bit they're not they're not tipped over because i needed a bit of lighting to, to make it a bit bright my environment it is debatably a bit too bright in some places for post-apocalyptic and others maybe a bit too dark the lighting is very debatable um i've tried to work on it a lot through my project Thing is, I've worked on several computers and they can handle so much. And thing is, it comes across brighter and darker on other computers, so it's hard getting the uh, lighting level correct. So that's been one of my biggest and hardest things to work on. But I'm, I'm okay with how the lights uh, come out. It's it's not the worst, um, but it's not the best. I will improve on that in future. Develop my own skills in my own time and stuff. Even though the project's not done. I have made it very bright on one separate occasion. And that's where you can see the giant book in my basement area. And I'll get onto that later. Anyways. The next part would be my basement. Now my basement. Well. I worked on this not as much as the main area but my basement is very simple it's, it's it contains a maze made out of big and small crates uh it's got some cobwebs and stuff in there make it a bit old uh i use some textures which looked a bit dustier and older i placed all my crates around in a certain pattern which i planned out and in that certain pattern is a maze design so when the player goes down into the into that basement, they have to find an object, which is a giant book which I mentioned earlier, and they gotta find it by going through that basement and trying to find it. However, I've placed the book at the back of the area at the start of it, so that it tricks the player of where it is. It's actually just behind the staircase, so. Hopefully, my intention is that the player goes off in the maze trying to find the item when it's actually more obvious than they may think. 
So, yeah, that was my idea with that maze, just to try and trick the player a bit in finding the object which you need. So, yeah. The next place would be the living room area and the, the kitchen sort of area. Uh, okay, so the kitchen in the living room. Um, the living room contains uh, a fireplace and, the, and it also contains some settees. It's got some pillows on, it's got a little coffee table, a uh, candle here and there, with some pillows and a couple of books laying around. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing too fancy, but I've like put all the pillows all over the place, I've edited the textures a bit to make it a lot, a bit more older on the pillows, make them look a bit more worn down. As for my kitchen, I've got a simple zinc, uh, a sink model, which I've made. And it's got some plates. I edited the plate as well. I made a, a, another version of it, which is like a broken up version, as if it smashed the floor and it's uh, cracked open and it's got little different pieces to it. So I've done that as if it's been knocked over by someone, as if someone's getting out of the place in a hurry, perhaps. But one of the main things which I wanted to make this environment stand out the most especially, in, well, I mean, in the main area, really, is the nature aspect of it. Because as you can see, in my environment, there's a big open area with, like, trees coming in, and there's, like, trees growing into the building, there's vines coming down, there's vines on the walls. Like, I, I've added it in to make it look like nature's overtaken the place after the time's been going on, so it looks like vines have been coming into it. Nature's been taking its course, stuff like that. Yeah, it's got a bit of debris on the ground, and yeah, so I, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty pretty good. If I were to improve on it, maybe I'd add like a lot more, a lot more vines and leaves and stuff like that. Because the thing is, when I was making it, I didn't want to add too much. So yeah, I I, I wanted to add I wanted to add more vines. And stuff like that but I didn't want it to be a bit too drastic if I were to improve on the nature maybe I should have debatably have added more vines and stuff because if I did that maybe it could look more worn down like I didn't want it to look like it was abandoned for a thousand years I didn't want it to be looking like that only for like a hundred years at most like it's been post-apocalyptic for a time of a hundred years, give or take. And yeah, so you got like spider webs around. You got like moss on the walls a bit. And the textures. I should probably have used the decal on that, which I which I learned later. Because then I would have wouldn't have repeat the texture so much to make it look as obvious in the three D models. But yeah, if I were to if I were to do the project over again, I I would just keep the texture. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change the texture to have moss on it. Instead, I keep that out of the texture, and I would have added that in separate as a decal later on, so that I could place it around better, separate, more random in places, so it's less obvious, as that is like the walls being duplicated around the place. So yeah. Okay. Now back onto the book. There's a giant book which I mentioned earlier. What you need to find in the basement. Which sounds a bit odd, right? But you need to find that book for a reason. That reason being, you have to find a hidden room. And it's it's just like a a safe room, really. It, it's, it's just really a, it's really a hidden room from the rest of the place, which the player can find by finding this book. So you go down to the basement, you find the book, and you can open the hidden room, which, which you find in the main area, which is by the bookshelf. It's it's that's why it's a book, because the key is a book, and the book is a hint to the bookshelf because you know a bookshelf contains books, which makes sense. So if you collect it, you can just go back to the bookshelf. You click E, the door opens, and you can walk in. There's also one other mechanic which I managed to uh, put in, which I figured out, and that's making lights switch on and off. As you can see here, 
I've got the player um, turning the light on and off. If you just click F, you can simply do that. Just click F, it turns on. You click F, it turns off, and so on. And it stays like that unless you click F again. So, yeah, that's another mechanic to the environment which you can do. And that is pretty much it. That's my environment which I've been working on. I hope you uh, liked it. I hope you like the environment. And yeah, there's a few things I would have improved, add more decals, uh, change the textures a bit more, and add in a bit more nature. Those are the those are the things which I would have done the most if I had more time. And yeah, I I, I liked how it came together with like. How it's all messy. I tried to do that. Uh, pay a bit of attention to detail. Especially in the dining area. Where it's got like. The stairs collapsed. Where you could use to access the second floor. But now you can. Because the, the stairs have all collapsed. And there's like wood everywhere and stuff. So yeah. So thank you guys for. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like my environment. And. Goodbye.